Hello everyone, it's Brandon here with Bootleg Boxes, here with a tutorial uh, that I've been looking forward to making for you all for a few weeks now. It's a PlayStation 2 soft modding tutorial, and what makes this one special is that it does not require you to use any sort of memory card exploit. It's all installed directly to the uh, hard drive for the fat model of PlayStation 2. Now what this is called is called the HDD OSD. Uh, what that stands for is the Hard Disk Drive On Screen Display. Now, uh, from what you see right here, it looks like your typical PlayStation 2 um, boot-up screen. But some one very uh, particular difference is, if we go up here and we look at our browser, it says that the version is 2.00. Now, if you're running a standard console, um, usually this is going to be 1.20. So what makes this special is, if you go into your browser here, you see we have a nifty little icon right here called the HDD. Now, I already have a few things installed to it. This is Bishibashi 3, which is a, uh, a Japanese PlayStation 1 game. Uh, it comes with the exploit that I'm going to be um, putting up into the description. It's a very curious game. Uh, GS Mode Selector. Now, what this does is it just makes uh, the screen look a little bit crisper, a little more clean. Um, you can play around with that all you want. It comes with U-Launch, um, which you'll need to add files, edit your hard drive, uh, partitions, and everything else like that. It also comes with the OpenPS2 loader, uh, the most recent uh, edition that's out. It also has the ESR beta, which you can use for various things, uh, which I'll get into in other videos. Now this right here, Kingdom Hearts 2, it's already a, uh, a backup that I've made. Um, now one distinct disadvantage is you are going to have to um, install other hardware onto a memory card to boot off of uh, and I'll go into that in part two of this video but um, just so you can see that it's working I'm gonna go ahead and open up the PS2 loader okay so we're gonna go down to settings just hard drive, so there's that. Yep. So there's Kingdom Hearts 2. So we're going to go ahead and test this. And now, this is just another proof of concept. I do not have a PlayStation 2 memory card in here just because I wanted to show you all that this boots without the memory card. But the game is running it running quite well. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and restart here. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and head on over to the PC side and we'll start getting this taken care of. Okay, so we're back over here on the PC side. Uh, you're only going to need uh, a single folder with a few files in it. I'll have a link for it in my SkyDrive, just as usual. So once we get that opened up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this one, WinHIIP. And go ahead and open up the program that's inside. So from here, uh, you're going to have to have your PS2 hard drive already connected. So go ahead and go up here, hit uh, PlayStation 2. You're not going to see anything in the file here. Um, or if you already have some games preloaded, you'll see them all right in this box here. Uh, we're going to have to format the drive itself, though. So I'll go down here. We're going to hit uh, Format. And you want to make sure that this right here, we're going to do a full and make sure this right here says toxic OS has to say toxic or else this whole thing won't work I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick uh, format um, but it's recommended that you do a full I've already done this before so hence why I'm only doing a quick so once that's done formatting we're gonna hit OK and we're just going to double check to make sure the file structure is 
perfectly fine. Now, I'll take this time just to mention, uh, you are going to need to have a way to connect your PS2 hard drive. There are two different ways. One, you can either use, uh, if you have an older computer, you can use the IDE ribbon and the provided power supply. Or you can go on Amazon or eBay and purchase yourself a um, IDE to USB adapter. They're pretty cheap, 8 to $10. So once you get that done, we're going to back out and we're going to go and click this right here. We're going to want to double click this right here so we can select a file. And we're going to collect the Im or select the image file located right here. So go ahead and hit continue. And then you want to make sure that you select the proper hard drive. Uh, if you you don't want to go and uh, format a hard drive that you're already using because then that'll just be all sorts of trouble. So we're going to select this one which is my 120 gigabyte hard drive I'm using for the PlayStation 2. Go ahead and hit connect or continue and we're going to go ahead and just start this up. Alright, so once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and exit on out of this program, and we're going to have to reopen WinHIIP Win just so we can verify the hard drive structure. This part is very important. Uh, if you don't do it, then it just flat out will not work for you. So uh, we're going to go ahead and select our PlayStation 2 drive. We're going to go to Utilities, Scan and Repair PS2 Drive, and this is going to go ahead and load through its process one more time. Once that's done, we're going to see uh, a few things here, uh, a little bit different than what we had before, uh, but this is the proper uh, proper set that we want. We're going to need to repair and then save, and it's going to write the repair structure over top of it. And once that's done, we can go ahead and unplug our PS2 hard drive and uh, connect it to the PS2 and see if it works. Okay, so providing everything went well, you'll see the standard play, uh, PlayStation 2 loading screen come up. And it should hang here for just a minute. And you should boot right into the standard PS2 browser. Now, first check you want to do, go ahead and hit triangle. And you can see right here, we were successful. It is browser version 2.0. So, give yourself a pat on your back, you did it. So we're going to go ahead and go into the browser just to make sure everything is there. And there's the HDD. Going to open that up. Double check, make sure everything is in here. Looks like we're all set. So, uh, that concludes uh, part one of this video tutorial on just getting the HDD OSD installed to your PlayStation 2. Uh, stay tuned, uh, I will upload a video on how to install applications to the hard drive uh, as well. Thanks for watching, as usual, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all later.